I have done nothing with my resin but farm the quantum dungeon for the last two months. I've spent about 15k resin farming this dungeon. Today what we're going to do is we're going to take those two months worth of artifacts that we've saved and I'm going to enhance them and try to fix my characters that are beyond terrible. For reference, we tried to clear MOC9 and I couldn't even clear it within 20 cycles. It was kind of pathetic. Let's go through our characters real quick. So our Sila is at 3.4k attack, 115 speed, 56.8% crit rate, and about 180 crit damage. Our Branya is about 3k HP, 132 speed, 132 crit damage. Our Natasha, 4.6 7k HP, 137 speed, Bailu's 4.5k defense, and 107 speed. To be fair, we did delete Bailu's relic, so she's pretty down bad right now. She definitely needs more gear. Silver Wolf, what is her effect hit rate? 73.1. So we need to fix that. Her speed is okay-ish. Maybe add some break effect to her. Our Wilt's at 2.2k attack with 30% crit rate and 90% crit damage with 102 speed. Yeah, baby. Our Jing Liu, whose orb and rope we ended up deleting in our last MOC run, is 1.7k attack, 134 speed, 35 crit rate, and 189 crit damage. I think the first thing I want to do is this boot is god awful. So let's look for an attack boot and then we'll go from there. I mean, I can just go full and then if it sucks, we just fodder it into the next piece. So this one hits nothing but defense. I'm kind of low on credits. As you can see, I only have 4 million right now. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the pieces of gear that end up rolling terribly and we're just going to fodder it into the next piece because it costs like next to nothing. So this has crit rate and crit damage on it. That's not bad. Crit rate, crit rate, crit rate. Fuck. I mean, it's technically better than our current boot. I mean, I guess we're using that. So next up is this one. It would have to land a lot on crit damage or have like a crit. Ooh, wait, wait, wait. So this is two rolls crit damage, two rolls crit rate right now. Okay, 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 okay. Crit damage, one more crit damage, crit damage, crit damage, crit damage. I'm going to press it without looking and it's going to be crit damage and I'm going to be happy. Mm. All right, we're off to a good start. Uh, this is actually a really good piece. I have two absolutely completely godly beyond crazy helmets. So there's this one and there's this one. They're basically the same exact piece except a run rolled slightly worse on crit rate. Let's see what it gets. It landed once in speed, once in crit rate, and twice in defense. Aha! Uh -huh. You have four good rolls. Uh, let's see what it hits. Nine speed. What the fuck? This is like Silver Wolf or what? This one with crit rate and crit damage. You can enhance it to three, see what it hits. Flat attack. Okay, that's garbage. All right, hit crit rate once, it hit crit damage once, and hit flat attack once. That seems worse than what we have currently, isn't it? Yeah, that's just going to be a worse piece than this one. This one is crit damage, right? Let's see what we got for crit rate then. We can enhance this one. If it lands all on crit rate, it's chill. We need this to land all crit rate. That's terrible. Okay, let's see what it hit. It hit flat attack twice. Dude, I keep hitting flat attack. <laughs> this is messed up. What am I even supposed to do with this piece? Some of these three liners can hit crit damage as their last stats, and then they can still be good. So that one will never be good never will be good. If this lands on crit rate or crit damage, then we have a piece that is viable. Oh boy, it lands on break effect. Okay, okay, okay. We love to see it. We love to see it. So like, am I just not going to be able to replace this thing or what? This helmet is too good already. How did I farm for two months and I don't even have a better helmet than what I have right now? That doesn't make sense. All we need is one singular roll on crit or crit damage. You know what to do here, game. Bless me. Oh, it can still be good. It can still be good. It can no longer be good. This piece can still be good. Land crit rate. We pray. It hits. Land crit rate. Oh, land at HP. Yes. I feel like I'm coping really hard right now. Yes, 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 yes. I'm definitely coping really hard right now. I don't see a single piece I can enhance anymore. So that means I have to get one of these up or stick with my current piece. Like what if I just enhance this and rainbow it? There's no way this thing is terrible, right? I'm just going to throw something in it. And if it doesn't end up good, then we cry. I have never not seen this thing only land on crit rate. It always, 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 always lands on crit rate. Wait, it actually just rolled four times into crit What the? F if we hit crit here, this thing is worth more than my entire account. What is that? There is no way you've seen a better piece than that. Though maybe you can get a piece like this if you hit that subscribe button. Move on to gloves. Cope on gloves. See what happens there. And then all right, I see crit rate, crit damage. So we got a good place to start. Let's see what it lands on. Crit rate? Okay, fuck me. Oh! I'm still going to go again. And if it doesn't land on crit rate or crit damage, we're binning this. All right, goodbye. That was our only crit rate, crit damage piece. Huh? All right, this defense. We bin that. Next up, we got defense, flat defense, and crit rate with break effect all right next up we got flat defense crit rate and break effect and this one's gonna land on defense flat hp defense and crit rate and it lands on break effect all right that's completely unusable break effect effect hit rate hp crit rate i don't think anyone's using that two months of farming this dungeon if i don't get a single upgrade i'm gonna be very confused this one hits yay crit rate yay Oh, okay, okay. We have potential, we have potential. Nah, you guys already know what the ritual is. If you want good luck, you have to sacrifice an entire piece. Perfectly balanced. This thing has six crit rates and six crit damage. If I sacrifice this thing right now, that crit rate and crit damage is gonna transfer. So that means we get two crit rate rolls. I mean, there's two crit damage rolls. Should I even plus 15 this though? This is just always gonna be worse than this. 
Break effect. No. All right. This one can land on crit rate. You know what I'm surprised I haven't seen yet? I'm surprised I haven't seen speed. I mean, I already knew that wasn't going to hit crit rate because we're getting right now, but I haven't seen a single speed roll as the last one. It's always defense and it's always effect hit rate. Break effect. Apparently, it's always break effect too. Crit damage, crit damage, crit damage. So if these land on crits rate, maybe we can do something with them. Something tells me with our luck so far today, none of these are going to land on crit rate. I'm almost feeling like we're going to end up with like a weathering set. We're unironically going to be using this set over here. Wait, 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 wait. If there was ever a time to sacrifice something, it was right now. You see this piece? You see this piece? I guarantee you, I sacrifice these pieces right here. Every single one of them. You know what I'm going to get? We're going to get crit rate as our substats and it's going to go to the moon. It will only hit crit rate. You ready? Good luck. I'm not even going to look. I'm just going to press it and it's going to be there and I'm going to be happy. It wasn't there and I'm not happy. Lands on crit rate, lands on attack. It's okay. We still have the chest. So let's see. We have crit rate, crit damage. What is this one? This one is two rolls crit damage, one roll attack, speed crit damage, attack, attack, speed, nothing, and nothing. All right. Well, this one can land on crit damage as its last one. It landed on defense. Are they landing on HP? Definitely useless. Try landing on some crit damage. Dude, I feel like I'm coping so hard right now. What is going on? I've been praying for nothing but crit damage this whole time, and it keeps not landing on crit damage. So for us to get crit damage, I have to pray it will land on effect resistance. This is going to land effect resistance 100% of the time here. It did not. Okay, okay, okay. If we get two more rolls in crit damage, this can actually be pretty good. It'd be better than our current piece. Oh, technically one more roll crit damage would be better than our current piece. Let's just enhance this one instead. Surely we get crit damage. All right, I think I'm doing something wrong here. Surely we get crit damage. I farm your dungeon for two months and this is what you give me? All right, at the very least, the very least, this will give attack. It gave flat attack. <laughs> We've been getting shafted pretty hard recently, but I see an amazing orb that is brimming with potential. And you know what I say to that? We go straight to plus 15 because we're not a fucking pussy. It's like I was going to clap when we hit it, and then we didn't hit it. Yay. How did every single roll hit defense? Is it crit rate? Nope. I'm actually going to get zero upgrades. No, this is disgusting. Yay. We're zero upgrades. <gasps> I'm going to go a little bit crazy. But with how our luck is going today, every single one of them is going to land on whatever the garbage one is. I'm going to hit attack as my last roll, right? And after hitting attack, everything is going to go in fucking effect hit rate. I'm ready if you are. You ready? Attack. Oh, I mean, I meant percent attack, but flat attack. I mean, you ready? Effect hit rate. You can't make this up. I'm actually so disgustingly salty right now. I'm going to keep going. You ready? You ready? Effect hit rate. Dude, dude, I, I can't make this. I can't make this up. We're going another effect hit rate. I, I, I can't make this up. Are you ready? Are you ready? You ready? Another effect hit rate. Oh, and crit. Oh, you ruined my luck. It's like I've seen this story before and I know how it ends. Yeah, that's how it ends. What is going on? Oh. Why? Every piece. Every piece is the same thing. This one is actually better than anything I have. All right, I guess I enhance it. That's depressing. These hits crit. You know what? Saltiness aside, I'll actually take that. That's my best rope. Should I just enhance these and see if it lands all on crit damage or something? I might as well. There's no point not to. I land his attack. I mean, if it hits crit damage from here, it's still a good piece. This is actually depressing, dude. Now do that five more times or four more times, please. I mean, I'll take that. Crit damage, crit damage, crit damage. This can still be a decent piece, even though we got fucked. <laughs> ah! All right, we got to look on the bright side. Where is the bright side? I don't see the bright side. I'm trying to be Mr. Brightside right now. I see a glimmer of hope at the end of the tunnel. I can see the lights. Do you know the one person who can help us in our time of need? It's Guts. The amount of suffering Guts has felt endured throughout his life. And he keeps getting up and prospering. And it's like, that can be me. And it's like right here. This will land on crit rate. I mean, damage. That one. Crit damage. Crit rates, crit damage, crit damage, crit rate, crit rate, crit. Uh, all right, crit damage. Okay, okay, okay. We have potential. We have potential. Crit damage. Attack? I'll take that. I'll take that. I feel like I'm a broken record. Please, please, please. There has been so much shit RNG today. You cannot keep fucking me. You can keep fucking me. This game can keep fucking me. It can keep fucking me over and over and over again. We must reach Nirvana. We will find the blessed peace. We will upgrade our gear. I will clear MOC. My account will no longer be scuffed. I see the light in front of me. Drown the voices, drown the voices, drown the voices. I'm gonna go crazy. <laughs> it won't get to me, man. I'm about to start doing offset pieces. I had 500 plus pieces of gear saved. What the fuck is going on? No, no, no. No, no, no. How? What the fuck? <laughs> 
refrigerate again 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 and again and again and again and again and again attack i'll take it i'll take it i'll take it it's like they can keep beating me down but i'll keep getting back up <laughs> they beat me down again <laughs> i cannot get a decent piece to save my life you know how many good pieces i have zero my bad for thinking how to get something good my bad i apologize game my fault we're back. We're back. We're back. We're back. I see a future in where I hit crit rate, but it's not this one. I'm not going to lie to you guys. <laughs> I already knew. I already knew it was doomed, but I see the future in where we hit crit rate on this one. And it is this timeline. Surely. I don't think I've ever seen anyone be this unlucky in my life. <laughs> Two months of farming for zero pieces is 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 kind of ridiculous. Hit crit rate, and we have a chance. Yeah, if this hits crit rate or crit damage, this is still better than anything I have, which is actually pathetic to say. That is pathetic. But we, we've gotten so down bad at this point that I need to I need to start using the garbage pieces of gear to pray that I get lucky. This isn't even a good piece, even if it hits. But please just hit. Oh yay! I hit I hit the worst roll ever. <laughs> that was a a five percent crit damage roll. Unironically, at a point where this can be my best glove that I have, this can be the best glove that I have depression if this one hits crit damage we can maybe have a decent piece we already knew it's not gonna hit crit damage it's not gonna hit crit damage it's just not i already know i already know what's gonna happen it's, it's, it sure as fuck ain't gonna hit crit damage that's for sure i don't know what to say okay that was technically a low roll in the last one let's try to hit crit damage on this one and see what happens all right crit damage thank you am i just full yellow praying that this thing hits crit damage yes i am because that's how down bad we are right now let's go i'm a believer <laughs> do i just embrace the entirety of the rainbow are we full on skittles now all right let's go great right, crit damage where are you we're full on skittles you know what? i don't even care anymore you know what here's what we're doing you see this go make a good piece for me and it's gonna hit good it's gonna hit good you know why because it's fucking rainbow Aww. I'm going to show you guys how little of a shit i give about any of this all right i i, I just don't care anymore all right just, just fucking go just go Yay. I'm not salty. I'm not salty. Are you ready? Let's do it again. This is just disgusting. Go, go, go hit something good. Oh, it doesn't? It hits a factor as three times? Oh, thank you. I just realized this thing landed on crit damage three times. I got more crit damage rolls on this thing when it's fucking plus nine is a percent HP orb. <gasps> then I did my entire enhanced session. Not on like HP? Oh, HP? Oh, wait, why do we hit the good stuff when it's all the support stuff? Like, is it going to land HP again? They both landed HP. I mean, that's a good piece. Okay. Like, that's a support piece. Maybe we just enhance this one, because if it hits a lot of effect hit rate, we can just throw it on, like, an effect hit rate character anyway. Yay. All right, this one lands on effect res. All right, that's not bad. Speed? HP's okay. Actually, if this one lands on, like, a decent stat for the secondary, that could be really good. Break effect. HP speed. <laughs> Ruan May. This one's still probably our go-to HP speed break effect. Silver Wolf. Like, I have really good pieces for my supports, but my supports aren't exactly the ones I need the help right now. I need some speed pieces pretty badly. Okay, okay. Are we back in the game? Break effect? Okay. Anything but attack. Oh, thank you. One eternity later. Why don't we salvage all of these? And then we can see how many we have and we can start crafting things. Maybe we get extra stuff. Is that 33 rolls? What piece do I need the most of? Sila needs a chest really bad because this thing is really easy to upgrade. We'll make chest because it's like Sila's chest. Don't mind if I do. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Curry crit damage. Okay, that's one we enhance. Yes, baby. It lands on crit damage. We're good. Land once on crit damage. All right, it landed once on crit damage and it gives flat attack. This is technically already as good as her current chest. So you know what we're going to do? We're going to take her chest and we're going to feed it. Just like I want her chest to feed me. And it's like, you already know. If I feed this chest in, we're getting guaranteed two more crit damage rolls. Yay, crit damage. Yay. Do you guys think I am psychopathic enough to fodder my current chest in already? All right, if this lands on crit damage, I will fodder my current chest in immediately, even though it's technically worse. All right, I'm going for it. I'm going for it. No, no, it's already happening. You already know. You already know. Fuck it, bro. Good luck. We do it. Crit mm, mm. That's what I want to see. You ready? The last one, we hit crit damage here all day, baby. This one, 30% crit value. I've never, never not seen it. You know what? We take that. I'll, I'll take that. I'll take that. I'll take that. You know what? That's an upgrade. That is an upgrade. We take that. That is a that is a half decent piece. All right. Now that we're done enhancing, let's go ahead and do a before and after comparison of what our characters are looking like. So Ursula lost about 250 attack, stayed the same speed, but gained about 18% crit rate and 22% crit damage. On top of that, she's using the Rudolin Arena set now. So I'd consider that a pretty big win. Next up is Branya. Our Branya gained about 600 HP, 3 speed, and like 10 crit damage. So our Branya is still pretty useless. Our Natasha gained about 300 HP, stayed the same on speed, gained a 
little bit more defense. She now has 40 effect res, and she is also using the broken kill set. That's a decent upgrade, but Natasha is still going to probably cause us issues in MOC. Next on the list is Bailu. Bailu gained about 1.1k HP, 35 speed, 250 defense, and about 30 effect resistance. She's now currently using the broken kill set as well. I think it's important to note for the stat change that we ended up deleting her gear after the tragic MOC from before, so next up we got Silverwolf. Silverwolf lost about 400 HP, lost about 100 attack, but ended up gaining 9 speed, 59 break effect, and 45 effect hit rate. I still need to work on my Silverwolf a bit. She needs to change out the Von Wax set, either for Panacone for Sila or the break effect set. I'm not sure which is going to be better for her when I'm playing her as a break effect character. And then on top of that, I'm not sure if she should be using an energy recharge rope or if she should be using a break effect rope. If anyone is playing break effect Silverwolf, please let me know because I have no clue what I'm doing. Alright, next up is Jing Liu. So our Jing Liu gained about 700 attack, 3 speed, 18 crit rate, and 30 crit damage. On top of that, we got her back to the Rudolent Arena ornament set. So she's doing more damage from that as well. Unfortunately, we weren't able to get her off the rainbow gear, so she doesn't have the set effect, but her gear is pretty ridiculous. This stuff is going to be pretty hard to get her off of, I'm not going to lie. Our last character is actually Asta. I didn't have her raised initially, but I thought she'd be a good addition to my team, so I ended up throwing some gear on her. Obviously, she's under leveled and she's using a level 1 light cone, so her stats are pretty bad, but she's at 150 speed right now, which I'd consider pretty decent. And she also has 34 effect res while also being on the broken keel set. She's kind of rainbowed right now, but her rainbow gear is actually pretty decent. Were these upgrades really worth two months of resin? I'm not going to lie to you guys, it doesn't even feel like I spent 15k resin for these upgrades. I feel like I got shafted pretty hard, but maybe I'm delusional. Let me know what you guys think.